Greetings. Uh, my name is Travis Cruz. I'm the Senior Director of Safety Strategy and Sustainability Strategy Solutions for Granger based in Chicago, Illinois. Um, here today to talk, talk about a case study uh, that really revolves around a prior experience that I had in life when I worked in the semiconductor industry prior to coming to Granger. The story is really about being more efficient and effective with data management uh, post the integration of two organizations, which if you've ever been part of an integration, you can probably attest to the many different business processes and work that, that is involved with becoming a more effective organization longer term. Um, the really unique portion about my uh, particular case study is I was able actually to publish my dissertation uh, through Oregon State University on in the integra integration of EHS management systems and lean outcomes. So the reality is the case that we're really talking about is business performance, lean outcomes, and, and even safety and health and uh, environmental outcomes for organizations. So to start the case, um, I want to lay the, the framework or the groundwork, if you will, when I worked for this organization uh, based out in Fremont, California, we were uh, an organization that did business in uh, 12 different countries throughout the, the world. And after the integration, we were doing business with 16 countries. So when you think about within the United States, uh, when you think about Europe and Middle East and Asia, we were peppered all throughout the, the world after the integration, including manufacturing, research and development activities, uh, field service, um, and then m many of our customer locations where we had employees who were working to install semiconductor equipment on fab floors like Intel, uh, TSMC, uh, and others, Samsung. The product portfolio, so the organization in which I supported at the time, uh, very technical, so it's an organization that helped manufacture capital equipment to help produce deposition, etch, strip and clean uh, equipment, and of course we had the uh, install base equipment at many of our customer locations where upgrades and service had to be performed on the equipment in which we sold. A lot of ergonomics, um, a lot of chemicals, a lot of confined space areas in which to work. The problem statement associated with the case study again evolves around the integration of two organizations. So back in 2012 these two semiconductor companies merged. I happened to work for the larger organization that was acquiring the other and part of the business benefit of doing this was to expand the product portfolio. So both organizations had existing EHS information management systems that differed widely. Some were inefficient and some were just flat out not scalable. So uh, the evidence that I'm prepared to share is essentially we were working off of 37 different spreadsheets and databases that were decentralized and required tons of manual manipulation. We had multiple physical locations to deal with. We had more products and services than we had before. This is again, this post integration. And we pretty much doubled the employee headcount. If I recall correctly, we went from 6,000 employees to, to 11 or 12. When you think about the risk profile of the organization, so uh, we had labs, we had manufacturing environments, we had field service, we had very sophisticated products that um, if weren't managed correctly could be dangerous. Um, and then we dealt with many, many different customers all throughout the world that had different requirements. So ergonomics, some of the safety challenges, chemical management, uh, the physical and biological hazards associated with these organizations, the work environment, uh, and then the environmental risk profile is fairly high. So when you think about water, hazardous waste, um, dealing with air requirements, all very prevalent in this industry. From a regulatory perspective and even standards, um, this is just a brief example that I would share relative to the risk profile. Risk profile isn't just physical, uh, physical hazards. Uh, there's the regulatory risk profile that comes with. So many of the OSHA and EPA requirements in the United States and across the globe, uh, the industry and consensus standards that, that the organization has to deal with. So when you think about the SEMI uh, S2 requirements, for example, for equipment, uh, EHS that has to be managed and, and implemented into the products. The management system standards from you know, OSAS 18001 at the time, we all know that ISO 45001 is here now. Uh, ISO 14001, ISO 9001, um, 27001 for information security, just many different management system standards that um, this, or, this new organization, this much larger organization had to manage. 
And then of course the customer requirements. So many of the customer requirements in the semiconductor industry uh, are fairly substantial. Uh, it's not uncommon at all for customers to audit uh, uh, capital equipment organizations in the semiconductor industry. And then the non-governmental organizations, right? So when you think about at the time, it was the Electronic Industry Citizenship Coalition, uh, the Glo uh, Carbon Disclosure Pro uh, Project, now known as the CDP, um, and then the Global Reporting Initiative on Sustainability. So just tons of requirements that have to be managed uh, correctly and uh, in internal to the business. So as far as evidence, so earlier I talked a little bit about uh, the 37 Excel spreadsheets. So you'll see where emergency response team events were captured, EHS inspections, uh, that take place. So think of cranes, hoists, hazardous material storage areas, all these, all these aspects that require inspection. Um, relative to management review, we were generating PowerPoints to uh, help communicate our key performance indicators. And it was just, uh, it was just a lot. Uh, more evidence. So you'll see email follow-up of corrective actions after incidents that took place and root cause analysis was, was completed. You know, regulatory inspections from organizations like Coupa. Uh, out in the West Coast or in California. Uh, recordable injuries, first aids, and near miss events, again, all tracked on Excel. And then inspection results or audit results from the EHS team who were auditing to make sure the systems and tools that we had in place were effective. The, on the sustainability front, so uh, aggregating and collecting sustainability data, uh, natural resource usage, and then putting together the uh, metric, performance metrics for the organization and ensuring that you're on track. This was endless. So when you think about these multiple tracking mechanisms, EHS spent at the time, at least within this organization, 10 hours a week managing and reporting data uh, per EHS team member, and that's a lot of time. So we knew very quickly that we had to get smarter and do something better with our information management to be more effective in our roles. So the solution was an integrated EHS management system so we took into consideration at the time uh, ISO 14001, OSAS 18001, and CC10, uh, OSHA Sharp and VPP, those voluntary participation programs. And we essentially architected a, a, an integrated management system consisting of you know, pl planning, execution, validation, and rapid problem solve. That those are different terms than plan, do, check, and act, but we felt these were uh, better terms that fit our organization. Uh, we had enhanced business processes, policies, and procedures. So at the time of integration, um, the policies and procedures that both organizations had were pretty much site-specific. Um, so we corporate-fied, if you will, or made them more global in nature. Applied more focus on behaviors and management engagement and risk mit mitigation. So all good management systems have employer or worker participation and management engagement. So we, we really drove uh, two aspects there. One was the uh, SAFE campaign, SAFE Awareness for Everyone. That was uh, an acronym that we used to communicate lessons learned or industry trends, things that were occurring that we could learn from in the spirit of prevention. We also deployed risk management by walking around. So many years ago, I learned about safety management by walking around at Intel Corporation as a young safety engineer. And the reality is the industry has evolved Safety professionals now manage environmental health and safety. And in many cases, security tends to pop up as well. So we formulated uh, a management engagement and employee participation process called risk management by walking around, meaning um, when you get out on the factory or the uh, factory floor at a customer location, your eyes and ears are open to the many risk factors that um, are applicable to EHS, not just safety, as you, as you can imagine. Uh, these are also known as Gemba walks um, for other organizations. When you think about the information management system that we deployed to help drive uh, some accountability uh, and compliance assurance, you know, we deployed a, a, an SDS global management system. We had the EHS event tracking system, risk management by walking around that I just mentioned. These were all digitized, by the way. So we built a homegrown system to, to help accommodate these aspects. And what you're seeing here is a roadmap training, tracking, and reporting system, right? It isn't good enough just to do training nowadays. You have to be able to produce reports that talk about percent completion and, and uh, training effectiveness. Um, site incident prevention program, programs. Uh, these were systems to make sure that pre-task planning for big projects were done up front 
workflow was created for the right approvals within the organization, and all the right stakeholders were involved. Um, chemical information management system, pre-integration, our chemical management was done on an Excel spreadsheet. And when you think about all the regulatory requirements from Department of Homeland Security, Occupational Safety and Health, Environmental Protection Agency, all of the different reporting requirements based on threshold quantities of chemicals. The fire department wants to know where all your chemicals are stored. Good management systems need a good chemical management system to start with because of all the different aspects that are related to chemical management. Risk management by walking around in the safe go stop, you know, giving, giving employees the authority to stop work or to continue with work based on risk assessments. A formal risk assessment in a business doesn't always meet the needs at the operational level and sometimes employees need tools to be effective in the moment and in the time, especially when you're working on semiconductor equipment on a fab floor where maybe you come across some uncertainties or the work environment is out of your control. And before just carrying on the task, sometimes you need to take a step back because of situations that could be unsafe or you simply have questions around. Um, EHS risk, risk awareness um, and management of change, so making sure that um, change is being managed correctly and effectively. Having an EHS audit system to make sure all the things that get put in place are actually working and effective and continuous improvement is a part. What you're seeing here is a dashboard that kind of uh, articulates uh, what this would look like when an employee shows up online to complete some of the tasks uh, that you just saw on the dashboard. The event tracking system, when you think about event, uh, not incidents, so an event can be an injury, it can be an illness, it can be a spill, it can be a regulatory agency visit, it can be a customer audit. These are all events that take place within an organization. And we needed a singular system to collect and track and report out on um, those reactive items. And that's exactly what those were, those were reactive. When you think about the risk management and accountability system, this was a tracking system to make sure that employees and managers were actively involved in the management system. You know, we tracked items such as good, cat good catches. So if you're an employer or manager and you were inspecting the work environment and you did 20 inspections and you found nothing, you know, red flags would get drawn and say, hey, maybe, maybe we need to, to do these uh, walk arounds together to make sure the, our hazard recognition eyes were seeing the same things together. So we actually uh, tracked uh, good catch findings and good catch rates based on the number of inspections. Um, just we were operating from the mentality that, that um, dynamic work environments uh, change each and every day and uh, hazards are, are ever present and a good management system isn't just the identification of issues, but it's the identification and control, and we, we put that power in the hands of employees and managers. So we use this data to drive positive change, and what you can see here, this is proactive and reactive. We had the uh, proactive data from the inspection process, the risk management by walking around, but we also had the reactive data, which is basically event or incident data. Example, the portal that we built internally to, to help with the workflow and navigate event reporting, causal analysis, corrective and preventive actions, and even governance. Right, part of a good management system is having governance around the severity of events and the recordability of events and to ensure that root cause and, and uh, causal, uh, other causal factors are truly identified. The metrics that were performed, so when you look at different business groups across the organization, uh, you can see where certain organizations were uh, tracked and held accountable for leading and lagging indicators by physical location, and we even made this mobile, so the, all of this information was available through a tablet, uh, obviously on the PC, but also your, your cell phone. So that concludes uh, really the, the case study. So uh, as a reminder, uh, it was all about the integration of two organizations, highly technical in nature. Uh, they had many different business processes that, need to be, that needed to be improved or scaled. In some cases, we had to start over. But one thing that we knew for sure is that we needed uh, an integrated management system as well as an information management system to help us execute uh, against our requirements, both customer, regulatory, and internal. And uh, the end result was a more efficient and effective business process for the organization. We certainly saw a decrease in incident rates, events that occurred, and we got really good at corrective and preventive action and root cause analysis. Business leaders could make more informed decisions around uh, worker participation and uh, 
and just overall en engagement for the organization. Uh, and all of that really helped deliver uh, a great sense of pride for the organization, better business results. We, we even actually saw quality uh, improvements along the way.